I guess we get to the part that everybody wants to talk about, which is the end of the game. You guys are down 2017 with a little bit over one minute left in the game. Second and 10. You catch, I don't know, what was that? Like a 25-yard cross crosser? Like what were you running there? A dig? Deep cross. Yeah. Deep cross? Deep cross. Running a deep cross, catch it. Similar to the highlight that we broke down on last week's kind of uh, breakdown deal, you reverse back the way you came, make a couple guys miss, and then for some reason in Travis Kelsey's brain, you decide to throw not just lateral, like it's being called a lateral. You full on threw a pass to Kadarius Tony. <laughs> what was, I mean, maybe 25 yards away from you? Like it was a, I don't know how in your head you're like, I know what I'm about to do. I'm going to throw this ball completely across the field. And Tony was on board. KT. Catches it, runs it in, touchdown to go up uh, five. Probably would have put you up five minutes or five points with a little bit over a minute left in the game. But lo and behold, as everyone is aware now, uh, there's a flag on the play for Kadarius Tony being lined up in the neutral zone. I guess let's just talk about your part of it first. Have you ever thrown that far of a lateral? Like, in no. Pra- like no. no. You just whip that out on the spot. On the spot. It was like a perfect spiral. Dude. Like, how did you go from having it tucked to throwing a perfect spiral that fast? I, honestly, man, it was, it was, <laughs> dude, it was such a bang, bang. Like, I caught it, turned up field, saw the, the single high safety. I knew his man covered, saw the single high safety coming down, knew I had broke the contain angle of the guy chasing me. And, when I made the the safety that was that was coming down to try and tackle, when I broke his angle, I knew it was one on one or two on you one. You knew Tony's guy when he was came he to was you. The, he was the only guy left. He's gotcha. the only guy on that side of the field. Yep. I know KT was over there from the route he ran, and I f- saw him out of the corner of my eye in a lateral position, in a position where I knew <laughs> if I could get him the ball, I knew he had space to score a touchdown. <laughs> what did Andy say? When you got to the sideline, I didn't talk to I didn't talk to Kirk <laughs> You didn't talk to him, dude. dude. In, in retrospect, could you imagine if that didn't work? If that got tipped, <laughs> no, 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 no. Just start sprinting over, and then fuck, just see. I could see Coach Reed just in my head. Just come here. There is a couple of tweets from some people that don't, I, you can tell don't watch football that often. Like, why is it such a big deal that he just like pitched the ball back to the other guy? And it's like, man, I don't. Just that is not something you see every day, to say the least. And uh, everybody's everybody's insane saying, creativity. It was it was close. It was close. I actually when I when it left my hand, I thought it got tipped. You did? That's how. Yeah, that's it was close. It was extremely close. So you probably won't see me doing that every single game. I promise you guys. You guys that that was a little too close for comfort. But um. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I went up to I went up to KT today, man. And I told yeah. him, I was like, man, we had that place fucking rocking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that crowd. Arrowhead was on fire after that play, man. I and couldn't I told imagine. Him, I was like, hey, man, we just can't have to do it again, big dog. So, yeah, I, uh, I'm i not. You, you can say what you want about, you know, him being in the neutral zone here and there. Well, we're about to get to it right now. He lined up like that all game, didn't get worn, blah, blah, blah. We, you know, don't call it in that position. You can't put you can't put it in in the ref's hands in that position. We've talked about plays like this all the time, especially in critical moments. I love KT. If we get the opportunity again, I'm going to throw that shit right into his chest again. Hopefully he gets there. Um, and I got all the all the faith in the world that dude. He's one of our best players, man. He's one of the best players we got with the ball in his hands. You turn on the film, you watch what he does when the ball's in his hands, and you can't tell me you don't want that guy on your team, man. So all the all the everybody hating on KT right now, man. I'm not trying to hear that. You can you can fucking miss me with it. Uh, I'm 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 trusting in one nine every time he's out there on the field. All right, well, let's uh, I guess talk about the penalty. Um, we'll throw up some quotes first. I think that's probably the best way to do this. Pat was fired up after the game. He was fired up on the sideline. I think once he got to the sideline and looked at the iPad is probably when he was like, you know, that looked like he was when he got really upset. But either way, Pat was quoted after the game. Uh, It's tough to swallow, not only for me and football in general, uh, to take away greatness like that. For a guy like Travis to make a play like that, you want to see the guys on the field decide the game. And this isn't – I will have Pat's back in this regard. He said the exact same thing 
a week ago when they could have thrown a flag for pass interference, Pat said he's a fan of fa- of officials staying out of the end of games. He wants the players on the field. So this isn't like a cherry picked moment for Pat. I think he genuinely feels like this. Uh, they're human. They make mistakes, but every week, uh, you know, we're talking about something to have a flag, change the outcome of a game. I've never uh, had offensive offsides called. Uh, if it does, they'll warn you. And then they make you, uh, they make a call like that in the final minute, another game. We're talking about the riffs on Monday. He was interviewed on six ten sports, K- uh, Kansas city. Obviously I don't want to react that way. I care, man. I love this game. I love my teammates and I want to go out there and put everything into the, on the line to win, but I can't do that. I, I can't act that way towards the officials. So he owned up and, um, you know, he regrets coming in that hard, which I think is the right thing to do. Coach Reed was asked about the offsides penalty. He said, usually I get a warning uh, before something like that happens. It's a bit embarrassing in the NFL for that to take place. I've uh, been in the league for a long time. Haven't had one like that. Pat also talked about the call, how the call affected you personally. That's a Hall of Fame tight end making a Hall of Fame play that won't be shown because they threw a flag for offsides, offensive offsides. Uh, it takes away not only from the game and the season, but the legendary career of Travis Kelsey. I don't know that it takes away from your legendary career. It's a cool fucking highlight. Um, yeah, and and I love Pat for that, man. He's yeah. Everybody's just sticking up for each other, man. And that's that's all I give a damn about. You know, if the, if they get fined for what they said, okay. But at least the yeah. guys in this locker room know that they're all, we got their back. You know, and and we all we're all in this thing together, um, and that we're fucking moving forward, man. And 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 we're. We put our fucking hearts in it, man. You know, you, you, you're not seeing guys just coming in and clocking in and out for a paycheck, man. You got guys that actually give a damn, um, not only about the wins and losses, but, you know, the livelihoods of each individual in that building, man. Um, another reason why I fucking love coming in to work every single day, and this is, uh, this is only going to make us, you know, that much more to play harder, that much more for each other, you know. Um, and, you know, I appreciate Pat saying that. I love Coach Reed. I love the, uh, you know, the the ability to have our guys backs um but at the same time man um we've been in a lot of fucking close games and we got to find ways to win no matter what i'm i'm more pissed off at how i how i ran my route uh after that you know on the well, that's what i was 15. gonna say yeah this i kind was of more pissed into... that we still had two timeouts second you were, and, I you think, were second, second and 15, and 15 after that play with plenty of time for 30 seconds 40 seconds left that is a lot of time to yeah. put up a field goal that is a lot of time to get into the red zone that is yes and that's that was what we harp on when we yeah. rewatch film when we're looking at it when coach Nagy's standing up in front of the offense talking about how we're gonna fix this problem yeah what's real what's real is we still had a chance and and um i didn't play my best after those two plays and i know i you know i wish i wish i would have played better and uh and from that point you know you go to work t- today tomorrow the rest of this week to try and fix it and uh and you know if you get put in situations like that in the future which i'm sure we will uh and, and you know we're ready and we're uh we know how to attack and how to fucking win that football game man that's the mentality you gotta have hey.